welcome back children so in our last class we have done about transmission of heat by convection now we'll do about radiation now children all of you have seen that after standing for some time in the sun you feel very hot clear so we receive the heat of the sun now how are we receiving are we connected with the sun with the help of a conductor that heat is transmitted through a conductor and reaching us definitely not then is air carrying the heat from the sun to us definitely not because in outer space there is no air so then by what is what is the possible way that is radiation so radiation is the mode of transmission of heat in which no medium is required in case of conduction you have seen that it is material medium is required it is found only in solids where molecules vibrate and transfer the heat from one molecule to the other the molecules do not move away from their place convection is found in water this in liquids in air right so whereas radiation does not require any material medium for transmission of heat we receive the heat of the sun by radiation now children a very common sight especially in the winter season you will find that a fire is made and people surround the fire in the form of a ring just to get there to get the warmth of the fire now what is the process by which heat from that fire is reaching their body is it by conduction is it by convection or is it by radiation let us see. well if you say it is by conduction it is not possible because for conduction some solid material is required is required their body is not connected with the fire by means of any conducting material so definitely conduction is not the way by which heat is received by them is it by convection well if you say so by convection now let us see now as the fire is made the air above the fire or surrounding the fire gets heated and you know that hot air always rises upwards so if you say that we are receiving the heat of the fire through air it is wrong because hot air will always move upwards but you are the people are surrounding at a distance from the fire so convection is also not possible they are not receiving the heat of the fire by the method of convection so what is the possibility left definitely the third possibility that is they are receiving the heat of the fire by the process of radiation okay children so remember in radiation no material medium is required so conduction is found in solids only convection is found in water in air means in fluids so heat is transmitted through fluids that means in in uh, liquids and in gases through convection and the third process is radiation where no material medium is required for transmission of heat and next you will i would like to come to new thing that is conductor and insulator now those materials which allow heat energy to pass through them easily they are called as conductors all metals which you see around you you must have seen that all cooking utensils are made up of 
metals, either steel or iron or copper or some alloys like brass, etc. Bronze. Why so? Because they are good conductors of heat. They allow the heat to be transmitted easily to the food which is to be cooked. So all those materials which are <coughs> excuse me which are able to transfer heat easily through them are called as conductors. On the other hand some materials are there which do not allow heat to be passed through them. Those materials are called as insulators. For example, any object which is made up of say rubber or plastic or ebonite. You know what is ebonite? You must have seen the handle of pressure cooker having a black colored plastic like substance. That is ebonite. Right? It is a very hard material and it is a non-conductor of heat. Even the handles of cooking, various cooking utensils, you will find that same black type of material is there. So these are insulators. Apart from this, wool, cotton, paper, straw, these all are insulating materials. Clear children? So, conductors and insulators I told you, conductor are, conductors are those materials which allow heat to pass through them easily. <coughs> Whereas, insulators are those materials which do not allow heat to pass through them easily. So, children, please, please share this video as much as you can and please like the videos. And uh, in our next class, I will do the next part of this chapter, which is vacuum flask. Thank you till then. Thank you.